Much of Australia's native fauna is unique. We call it endemic, meaning in Australia and nowhere else in the world. And so we have a special responsibility for maintaining that fauna. So in that context, impacts of feral cats are particularly important. The current focus of feral cat management in Australia has switched to a focus on recognising that certain cats will have greater impact in the environment than others and certain environments and certain species will be impacted more than others. The biggest challenge with feral cats is that they're notoriously difficult. They are trap shy, they are very picky eaters. There's no silver bullet with how we manage feral cats. We need a lot of tools. We have shooting, we have trapping, uh, we have baiting, uh, we have newer technology traps that put toxins out. One of the easiest ways that we can deal with feral cat predation is to improve vegetation complexity. That vegetation is what provides small vertebrates with spaces to crawl into and hide away from predators. We've had a very successful program, the Western Shield program, that's been running for 28 odd years and that has very successfully returned some species, native species, back to good population sizes. The new eradicat bait, which is about to be registered across Australia, that will make a big difference. The Felixer trap is an amazing tool which enables us to target cats that are moving down roads and that's a really targeted way of making sure that we're just getting cats in the landscape. We need other tools as well, tools that don't always rely on toxins and there's some fantastic developments that are happening at the moment with smart cameras and camera activated traps. We have a number of techniques that are implemented at the moment but improving the resourcing of these and making sure more land managers can access these tools and deploy them on their land and then subsequently measure the improvements in biodiversity is absolutely essential. Mm -hmm.